What up, noobs? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I Someone told me I needed to start the videos out uh, with something other than hey guys. But anyway, today's video was inspired by Peebo Guy's awesome suggestion. He wanted to see the RuneScape milestones that everybody usually tries to achieve. Now granted, I couldn't use all of them, but I did try to add the important ones, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Number 15, 37 Magic. This one mainly applies to free players, but once you achieve level 37 magic, you can then teleport to Varrock, Lumbridge, or Falador, which are all of the free-to-play teleport spells that exist. Number 14, 40 Defense. Once you achieve level 40 Defense, you'll then be able to wear Rune Armor, and if you've completed Dragon Slayer, you can wear a Rune Plate Body, which is a very, very common goal for many players when they first start. Number 13, 43 Prayer. Once this is achieved, you can then use Protect from Missiles, Melee, and Magic. The Protection Prayers are definitely essential to being successful at this game, especially if you ever want to get a Fire Cape in the future. Number 12, 38 Herb Lore. Before any other goal in Herb Lore, there is nothing more important than level 38. At level 38, you can begin making Prayer Potions, and those can definitely save your life. Number 11, 83 Hunter. This mainly applies to iron players, and if you have it, you can catch dragon implings, which can give out some great rewards if you're lucky. Number 10, 75 Construction. Once you have 75 Construction, you can then build a gilded altar in your house, which can be very useful if you ever want to train prayer when no other altars are being hosted, or if you'd like to host your own, or just simply train prayer by yourself. Number 9, 91 Runecrafting. If you never plan on doing bossing in RuneScape, then your next bet for money would be 91 runecrafting, which will allow you to craft double nature runes. Scaling-wise, it's one of the best money methods in the game. Number 8, 70 ranged. Once you achieve this, you can finally go get yourself some black dragon hide, which, simply put, just looks badass. And it's what most players strive for before they even get void armor. Number 7, 70 attack. I think everybody watching this video knows why this is on the list. Everyone wants the Abyssal Whip, and also, I don't know about you guys, but I have always been obsessed with the sound that it makes. Number 6, 75 attack. Once you've gotten 70 attack, you may as well go for 75 for some of the most powerful and useful weapons in the game, which are obviously God Swords. Number 5, 70 prayer. Once you achieve this and have completed the King's Ransom quest, as well as the Training Ground minigame that follows it, you'll unlock the Prayer Piety, which is extremely useful and I highly recommend doing it. Number 4, 85 Slayer. If you ever want to kill the Abyssal Sire or just receive Abyssal Demons as a Slayer task to try to get even more Abyssal Whips, then you'll definitely want to achieve this goal. Not to mention, you'll be considered a badass if you do. Number 3, 1050 Pest Control Points. Once you've received all of these points, you can then buy full range void gear, as well as the magic void helm, which I highly recommend if you ever plan on doing Zora. Number 2, 94 magic. Once you achieve this, every person who hasn't achieved it yet will fear you. Whenever you hit 5 people at a time with ice barrage, everyone's eyes really open. You can also unlock the very useful spell Vengeance 2 once you've completed Lunar Diplomacy. Number 1, 175 quest points. Once you achieve this, you can finally complete Recipe for Disaster and become a proud owner of some Barrels Gloves, which in most players' opinions is one of the most popular goals of every RuneScape player. Thanks for watching guys, what do you guys believe that the most important goal in RuneScape is that you can have? In my opinion, I'd say the Cook's Assistant quest. That's all I have for you guys today, and I'll talk to you guys later.